Hello everyone, Toby from Ableton Drummer here and three more devices for you for setting text name and having different lines, having up to seven lines um, as text notes pop up windows here, automatically showing up, taking colors or presetting the colors you like. Okay, so um, it looks a little bit different. It looks like this. So you get um, three devices, one is with seven lines, one is with five, one is with three lines, and you can set the text for each line individually if you want to. So let's have a look on this clip here because that's the one we are seeing here. So we first have the clip name, which is not showing up in the in the notes sections if you don't want to. So you have the name, let's call this just press command R for renaming and then set this to uh, song one maybe, song one. Then you need to have a space behind that, then you have a star, another space and then you put in your notes for the first line, notes for the first line and then space, two stars, space and then your notes for the second line notes for second line yeah and this could go on and if we restart this clip the text automatically changes so this could go on up to seven um, lines if you need to and you can put in a lot of text but um, the clips not showing you can't you can't make this much brighter uh, much longer I mean um, so you you're not it's not that nice to, to edit uh, everything in here. So you get a second device for each device for the seven, seven, five, five, three, three lines where you can actually get um, the whole clip names and the whole um, notes into this chart here. And then you can easily set stuff up. So for example, if I only want something in the fourth line, um, some Thing here, something here, and maybe something in the sixth line. I can now select the clip and hit rename, and it's putting me all this text in the back here. So let's set this up with a new text. So this is for MIDI devices, or it's a MIDI device, so it worked on a MIDI clip only here. So you select the clip, you hit rename, and then you get all the notes you put in here being set for this name here. So if you have a clip where you want to uh, take the text, take the text, let's put this in here, first line, just to show you how you grab the text. So we go to the device, we select the clip we want to import the text from, we press get. And now we can see all the different info we put in here as well. It's a bit, in the beginning, it's a bit fiddly to set up with all the stars. You could do this in a text editor and then just copy and paste the whole text into the clips. Um, yes, so if you are not using any clip names, so if you want the first line to show the clip name, for example, you could set no clip name, so you don't have the separated name section, which is not being shown um, in the lines. So if we, if we take another clip and say, um, we want the clip name in the first line, we you just set this up in the first line, clip name, and then some notes and more notes in the third line here, for example, more notes. So you just type in the text, you select the clip, you hit rename, and then it's setting you the stars here already. And you can obviously take automatic colors here. So if I now play this clip here, it changes the color automatically, you get some opacity. If you don't want automatic colors, you can select the text color, um, the text color um, via this uh, color grabber here. And let's do this for the background as well. Just to show you, click on BG for background and then maybe set it to orange. Oh, that's a little bit, maybe it's 
do it yellow. Okay, nice one. So you can set this up here. You have an S which is not shown that well if the background is yellow, but you have this S for saving the position of the window. So the pop-up window will open up in a specific place. Let's set this back to automatic. It's I like the automatic function much more and then um, you could have an auto open function here as well so if no clip is playing bomb the window disappears so if i restart or if i play a clip the window pops up if i have no clip playing the window disappears so that could be all set up here you could as well reset the windows position so that means if you might work at home set it up for production or for the live gig and you have a second screen and you save the window position somewhere on your second screen and then you play live just with your mac pro or whatever and you don't have the second screen connected the window is somewhere on the second screen which isn't available you just hit reset window position and you replace the window again where you need it to press s bomb and the window position is saved for your live set and you're ready to go to play live okay so as i said there are three devices here for seven lines five lines or three lines and every one of those has its separate um set and get clip names in rows in lines um device as well so you can put in the names from a text editor just copy and paste those in and if you might want to change just one line real quick real easy you can use those devices here to just change those okay so please follow the links in the video description to check them out and to get them maybe if you're excited about them cool stay tuned bye bye